Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Sometimes we'll get a call from a customer. This one's about three years old and they say there's a problem with the pump. So we're going to take an explore, open that pump up and take a look. But pumps don't usually go bad. So there's usually something else wrong. And we're going to figure that out. Troubleshoot it and we'll figure it out. So let's start here at the discharge. And you can see, I can see right away what happened is you see the lake and past couple of hurricanes plus any of the windy days like this it's bringing that sand right up and into our pipe and this line this is the, the end of the line so we'll start here at the end but this line runs all the way back to that door there on the carport or I guess that's a laundry room and we've added we added all kinds of things here we've got catch basins yard drain sump pump downspout drains you can see the downspout here all of this line is under this under the pavers We've got a catch basin here and our sump pump actually discharges right into this basin and the sump pump line comes around and what I found is somebody added another catch basin right here and they tied that into the inch and a half pipe so that needs to be corrected um, dig this all up, pull up all the pavers again, and get a proper discharge here for this catch basin because that's just too small, inch and a half. Inch and a half pipe actually runs all the way back to the sump basin. And if you search back through the videos, you'll see this install about three years ago. You can see we added catch basins here. It all comes over to the sump pump. Sump pump lifts it up and sends it all the way back to the lake okay let's take a look ah you can see what happened here is the pump actually came loose you see that fitting it came off and it probably burned out the pump but I'm gonna pull the pump and we'll start by unplugging it So there's a Zoller M98. Now we need to troubleshoot and find out why this pump failed. What caused the problem? Take a look. So to troubleshoot this line, let's start at the end of the line and see what's going on. So really what's happened is over you know, a couple of years it brought the sand up here and it clogged this line we need to clean this line I'll get it on the schedule for that this line runs all the way back to that porch and there's a catch basin right there but it's holding some sand and debris from that lake probably from the past couple of hurricanes it you know really flooded up there And it runs all the way back to here. We've got inch and a half pipe coming into this catch basin, but I think someone added this to the line, not us. So I went ahead and installed a brand new Zoller M98. These pumps come with a three year warranty, so we don't worry about that at all. And we need to find out why this pump failed because they, they really don't fail. So I need to have some water run through this system. I'm gonna hook this pump up, plug it in, and see what's going on. Remember, I found that someone had added another catch basin to the line, and it looks like they added it uh, with inch and, to the inch and a half pipe, which is just crazy. Um, something that you know a drainage contractor would never do, but they may have added it to that line. So let's get this pump powered up and send some water down through the line and see what happens. Okay, let's plug this in, make sure we've got you know a good working pump. Oh yeah, you can see that water going straight down. We'll pump that for a second. But you know what? I can hear water bubbling up here at the side of the house where that extra catch basin had been installed. So let's, let's walk down there and see what's going on. And you'll see it right away. Someone added that catch basin to the inch and a half pipe. And you can see that pump 
is trying to push that water, but it can't get through there. Okay, so we figured out what's going on and why this happened is everything's working great. We've got a new pump down there. Line comes up, comes out, goes over here. But it looks like the paving company added this catch basin um, and hooked it into the inch and a half pipe that we have running over to that catch basin. But it should still work. Of course, it does work. We need to clean that line, the discharge line, as it goes out to the lake right out there. So the homeowner just told me that the paving company did add a catch basin right here. And our inch and a half pipe runs down and over to the next catch basin where it ties in. They tied this catch basin into the system and that created the problem and the blockage. The pump burned out, it, you know, under pressure and it just it blew that uh, no hub apart and it just burned the pump out. So we're going to have to explore this area. I'll put her on the schedule for that. We're also going to come back out here and clean all the drains. So I already pulled that pump because it did go bad. That line was backed up and it just, the pump couldn't push it out of there. But you can see the channel drain that we installed in the pavers and how that comes out. It comes out really, really nice. We added a downspout drain. That all comes over here. There's a Y right here where my foot is. It runs across. We added another channel drain in the pavers over here. This line all comes over, picks up this downspout drain, and actually goes over to a sump pump that's right out there. And those lines all run out to the very, very back as well. Catch basin was added here in the pavers as well. Pick up this low spot. We did quite a bit of work here, all in the pavers, put them all back. Everything looks really, really good. So no matter how hard you try, you're never going to beat Mother Nature. And you know the real problem here was that this lake that these people live on, when the water level rises, it pushed the sand and debris back up the discharge line. That caused everything to back up. And of course, this, the pump burned out. It couldn't push down through there. Maintenance. This is why we suggest that you clean your lines so that you don't have these problems. We know that it's pretty much just sand that came back in, in this line, so we can run the jetter down through here. And I'll show you that when we come back out to clean the line. But we will have to explore these pavers where the paving company added the catch basin and tied it into the inch and a half pipe. Again, just crazy. No drainage contractor would ever do such a thing, but someone's added it to the system. It does work, but you saw that when the pump kicks on, that water bubbles up out of there and it just has no place to go it's just the inch and a half pipes not designed for gravity you can't run that big four inch pipe down into an inch and a half pipe and expect it to work properly so we'll get her on the schedule and we should get out here for her next week hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day